Hi, so usually I'm talking to all of you first time authors out there, but I know several of you who watch this channel have multiple books and have what is called a backlist, which means a list of books that you've previously published that aren't the current book that you are promoting. Today I'm going to be talking to you about 10 different ways that you can maintain and promote your backlist so that way you can continue to generate more book sales. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher. I love sharing my insights about all things self-publishing with you. Before I get into the details on today's topic, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. You'll be notified when I put out videos every week about self-publishing, making a career out of being an author, and being a mompreneur. So I usually put out a lot of content for first-time authors um, because they have the most questions. Uh, there's so much to figure out. But us veteran authors have a lot to do as well. And as we get more efficient with writing and publishing, we have a little bit more time to be able to do more for our books. But whoa, there is a lot more that we can all be doing. And I'm guilty of this myself. There are so many things that I know I should be doing for my backlist, but sometimes I just, ugh, I can't even think beyond what needs to get done for the current book. As I was preparing for maternity leave back in 2020, I was really focused on how I can make sure my backlist was optimized for sales and reviews. And in general, I should have been focusing on this all along, but it's so easy to just focus on the current book we're working on right now. So the reason why myself and other authors say that more books sell more books is that your backlist can sell your front list and vice versa, which means that we can't forget about last year's book in favor of this shiny new object. So here are 10 things that I've done and what you can do to maintain your backlist and how you can promote it as well. So number one is a series page on my website and retailer websites where they're applicable. So on my personal website, 1mkwilliams.com, I have different um, drop downs for fiction and nonfiction. And under that, I have a series page um, where it applies. So that way people can easily organize um, or find them that way. And then on retailer websites, I make sure that I have the series page available it's much easier to do now with Kindle. I was going to make a video on that for the old way and then they literally released the new way so I haven't made the new video yet. Sorry, I'll work on it. Um, but getting series pages on uh, Amazon, on uh, Apple, on Barnes & Noble, on Google Play, all of them where it's applicable, I wanna make sure I have those series pages. Make it really easy for people if they've enjoyed one book in the series, they can easily find the other. Or some people just say, I wanna dive into a series, boom, you can see all those books right there. The second thing I did was to make sure that my books were out wide. Now, obviously, you've seen a lot of my videos. I talk about publishing wide. Um, and so I've been doing that all along, but there are a few little things that I hadn't done. Um, and so it means adding it to more retailers and ensuring that everything is working correctly. Um, so I had pushed out my books on a lot of different places, but then it was going back and saying, hey, my print books were only on KDP print. I went and added them all to Ingram Spark as well for wide print distribution, even though the eBooks were already wide, adding them to PayHip, adding them on multiple websites and making sure that they're all up to date. I also made sure um, I updated my other works by, which is in the interior of all of my books. So if somebody starts one of my books, they can see all the books that I've written, both fiction and nonfiction. Um, and in some cases, I had gotten a little lazy um, with my lower selling books and hadn't been updating that. Um, so I made sure that those were all updated. And now I have a process um, template in Asana. So I know, boop, I just get that done every time. It takes longer and longer every time as I release more books, but that's a good problem to have. And then another thing I did for maintenance was I released second editions where it was applicable. So that's something I had to do for Nail Biters, my very first book, because I had the second book in the series coming out. So I wanted to add a chapter to the back and it was my very first book. So it needed some TLC. Oops. Um, but that is just part of living and learning as being an author. So I did release that second edition as part of the maintenance of my backlist. Um, so those were a lot of things that I was doing just to make sure it was all maintained. So that way, if somebody read a book, they were getting the best experience and they would want to read the next book in the series. And then for promotion. So I was able to create discount bundles on some of my direct sales pages like PayHip. So on PayHip, if you go and purchase self-publishing for the first time author as an ebook or an audiobook, you then get a discount on either of the other books in the series, which is book marketing for the first time author or how to write your first novel, right? So figuring that if people are looking for one book, they're probably looking for the others and I can offer that discount bundle to help them save. Um, and so once I created that bundle, I then had to go and schedule posts about it. Um, and that was the next thing that I did as far as 
working with the backlist. I just have regularly scheduled posts um, with reviews, book quotes that I can schedule in Facebook um, directly with our content uh, creator for my Facebook pages and at Hootsuite for um, Twitter um, and Instagram. So those are just regularly going out. Now, obviously, at the end of my maternity leave, I did not go in and schedule more. So there was a big lapse um, in some of my posts in that regard. Um, but it was nice for those first couple months that those are pre-done for me. Um, I also put out review reminders. Now, this isn't specific to a given book, but I just put out um, tweets or memes or things like that that are a little funny to try and remind people to leave a review of my books, which by the way, if you haven't left a review of any of my books, but you've read it, please go and leave a review on Amazon. Thank you. All right. And then one of the other things that I do to promote the books is I pull quotes from the book. Now, usually as I'm writing, um, I kind of have in mind what those review, what those quotes are going to be that are going to grab people, sound intriguing, but aren't going to give anything away. So I put those in a stylized little squares in Canva and I get those out. So that's what I was also doing for promoting the backlist. Um, and then I try to do some fun posts like book birthday posts. Um, a nice thing with the infinite infinite um, is that it all takes place on August 8th or 8 8. Um, and so I was able to schedule some posts for that day, even though the book had come out, you know, a year earlier, I was like, oh, well, I can promote this book today. Um, when we did daylight savings time, I joked, oh, about time travel. Oh, this is a book about time travel. So just little things like that, that I was able to pre-schedule ahead. And again, I'm promoting the backlist for it. Um, now, one thing that I don't have, um, but that I would be doing is associated merchandise for the book books. Now I do have merchandise for Author Your Ambition with my Ambition for Breakfast Coffee for Always mugs, my journals that say Ambitious Author, um, Follow Your Heart, Love Your Dream, Author Your Ambition. Um, so I do have those going out that just promote the Author Your Ambition brand, but I don't have book specific merchandise. Um, but if I did, then I would obviously be promoting that too as a way to continue to promote the backlist because that is, you know, just something you can continually promote with it. So the list can actually go on and on. These are just 10 things that I have done um, or plan to do uh, and continue to do, but there's so much more. So if you're feeling like your backlist sales have stalled or that you have some time while your manuscript is with your editor, um, use that time to optimize your current listings before the next book is released. Um, and then, you know, just give these items a try. Um, just 10 things that you can quickly go through and see, do you have that? Do you need to update that? Um, or do you have other tips that I maybe didn't mention for how you may maintain your backlist and promote it. Um, if I didn't talk about those, definitely drop a helpful tip in the comments and help other authors who find this video. I would probably be able to use those as well. So definitely appreciate that. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. That lets YouTube know that you're getting value from the information in this video and can get it in front of other authors like us. And now you can get back to writing your book. Hey, if you want to continue to support this channel and my other creative work, please head over to buymeacoffee.com and support my channel. You can buy me one coffee, three, five, ten, or you can even get a membership. Those who are in the membership are actually going to be included in the acknowledgments pages of all of my published books moving forward as a big thank you. And you can even get some additional options to get an Instagram thank you post shout out or a shout out in an upcoming video. Thank you so much for supporting this channel.